Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I'll show you how to insert a page break in Excel. Page breaks in Excel are nothing but imaginary lines that separate a spreadsheet into different pages for printing. When you print an Excel sheet, it automatically assigns page breaks based on the paper size and scale settings. However, in some cases, you may want to manually insert a page break in Excel to maintain the ease of understanding for readers. For example, if you have a table that extends well beyond the visible boundaries of a spreadsheet, you can insert page breaks to bring structure to the content. This way, any end user can make sense of the table once it is printed. Let us see how to insert page breaks in Excel without further ado. Before we begin, let us understand the key differences between automatic and manual page breaks in Excel. First, go to the View tab and click on the Page Break View option in the Workbook Views section. This will immediately display all page breaks in your sheet. As mentioned earlier, Excel automatically adds some page breaks by default. Please note that all automatic page breaks are denoted by a blue colored dotted line, whereas all manual page breaks are denoted by a regular blue line. Keep in mind, you cannot delete automatic page breaks. However, you can move them, which will convert them into manual page breaks. It is always advisable to keep the page break view mode on if you're working with page breaks. To manually insert page breaks in Excel, first open the page break preview. Then, to insert a vertical or horizontal page break, select the column or row respectively, immediately after where you want the page break to appear. Finally, click on the Insert Page Break option in the Break section of the Page Layout tab. The page break will appear in the form of blue lines. Repeat the same process if you want to add more page breaks. Did you know that you can move any page break to a different spot, thereby changing the area of the pages in your spreadsheet? To do this, first, click on the page break you want to move. Then, drag it using the double-headed arrow mouse pointer. Finally, release it in the new location. Now let us see how to remove page breaks in Excel. It is very easy. All you have to do is, first, select the column to the right or down below the page break you want to delete. Then, click on the Page Layout tab. In the Breaks drop-down menu, click on Remove Page Break. Now your sheet will be updated with the remaining breaks. The last option in the drop-down menu of the break is Reset All Page Break. This option allows you to reset the spreadsheet by deleting all the page breaks that you have manually inserted and leaves behind only the automatic page breaks. That's all, folks. We have discussed important tips and tricks about how to insert and adjust a page break in Excel. We hope you find this guide useful. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. We are always happy to help. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.